Got a small collection for you in this particular video as first of all we have some comments from Sega Europe about the chances of remakes of Shenmue 1 and of course Shenmue 2. Now these comments come from the European boss Jürgen Post who spoke to MCV and basically said that while the project hasn't got a green light they are eager to make remakes of the first two Shenmue games happen which I feel would be a really, really clever move to do, especially considering that many people might not have played Shenmue 3 ever, if at all, in the last few years. And he said, quote, There is definitely a desire to go back to our classic games. Even online, people are constantly talking about products they would like to see come back, and Shenmue 1 and 2 are probably in the top two places. We are looking into it. It's an old IP. It's a beloved IP and not just by consumers, but also within Sega. We have people saying that if we could do Shenmue 1 and 2 all over again, we'd definitely go for it. The issue is, is that it's a big game. It is a project from many years ago. If we are to do it, we want to do a fantastic conversion to the current platform. And there are a lot of licenses in the game which were cleared many years ago. So we would, ne we would need to renegotiate those contracts. We are looking into it. We haven't given it a green light, but it has our full attention. So it basically seems they are definitely keen to do it, but they are unfortunately faced with the numerous roadblocks. The fact that these games are quite old is definitely going to mean quite a lot of work to port them over to modern systems. Obviously, very big games, even remaking one of them would be quite the project. And of course, the whole thing about the licenses as well, that is definitely going to be quite the hurdle. But it seems that they are at least looking into it. It probably won't be in time for the release of Shenmue 3. But we can dream, we can dream, but even if uh, it doesn't come out in time for Shenmue 3, if it comes out, if they come out at all, I think we'll all be happy. Next up is something not really related, but I feel it's worth mentioning, sort of throwing on to the end here. Now, you guys undoubtedly heard about AM2R, a Metroid 2 remake done by fans. Now, of course, about a month ago, it received a cease and desist notice from Nintendo. And, well, now the project is completely and utterly dead as they have received a full DMCA takedown notice. And there is a final blog post which reads, quote, Nintendo of America Inc. has filed a takedown request under the DMCA Act. I received the request on my personal email, so complying with their request, there will be no more AM2R updates and no more releases under any platform. So while the current version of AM2R is out there in the wild, when something's out there on the internet, which is something as popular as this, you can't really take that back, but it does not mean that the future of AM2R ends here. It's not going to do a Pokemon Uranium and manage to finish and then, you know, get out in time and all that sort of thing before getting taken down by Nintendo. It is, for all intents and purposes, dead in the water, which is a real, real shame. So, a bit of good news and a bit of bad news, all comprised in one video. It's definitely sad about AM2R, but hopefully the profile that the guy making it has earned, you know, unfortunately the project has ended, but, you know, people definitely know who this guy is now, and he could probably take his name and be like, look, I'm the guy who tried to make AM2R, here's my actual official game with nothing to do with Metroid, and undoubtedly it probably would be sold on the back of what he made, which from what I've seen is pretty damn good, so I really wish Nintendo would not be quite so strict on this, I know they have to protect their, protect their trademark and all that, but they could do what other companies have done and be like, you know what, you can't make this game, but we'll hire you, and you can make one official for us, but no. Not to be, unfortunately, so thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.